Bismillah, assalamu alaikum. So, uh, Jazakum Allah khairan, brother Amir. Uh, he just got done teaching at, teaching at my school, basically, for, for a day and a half. He was Mr. Amir for a day and a half. Um, you know, Jazakum Allah may Allah reward you for everything you did. So, I mean, will you do me the favor, brother, and just, just talk a little bit about the experience, you know, and, and just say some things about it for the benefit of the people, inshallah. Now, bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, wa rasulillah. I had an amazing day and a half with some very, very amazing kids. I think that a lot of times, you know, we look at how tedious school was to us when we were young. But then when you have to assume the responsibility of a parent or a teacher or someone who has to facilitate these affairs, you have a whole different perspective of what you're dealing with. So amidst COVID, I think a lot of these kids got very complacent with you know the whole virtual schooling stuff. But to get back into a structured environment or a social environment, there's all kinds of different anxieties and you know, behavior issues that's been developed and so on and so forth. But I think that, you know, me being able to relate to the youth from a perspective of as a peer, you know, that connection made this whole day and a half seem like, you know, I could have possibly been in these kids' lives for, you know, weeks and months, you know what I'm saying? And I just pray that, you know, whatever, I was able to share with them from a very sincere place, inspired them and motivated them to want to be better, you know, people, responsible people, accountable people, and definitely mature people. Because the world is definitely lacking leaders. So I would say that anyone who knows that this is going on in our educational system that a lot of these kids are yearning to be in proximity with people of influence or people who have something just generally to offer, you know, they should very much consider, you know, taking courses or whatever necessary avenues to just basically be in there for them. I think kids want someone to be there for them outside of who's supposed to be there for them as their parents. So we supposed to be those second set of parents. And I think that this institution of school is that opportunity to be those second set of parents that will protect them for the set of parents that's out there in the streets and out there in you know, these other cruel areas of the world. And I'm a firm believer of that more so now than I ever been before. <laughs>